Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be the 10 month update for Dude, You Panned My Battleship. This project was created by Elizabeth. She is at Kooky Pans over on Instagram. That is me symbolically dropping a dollar into the jar where I put my dollars for every time I say this project was created by Elizabeth. She creates a lot of the projects that I've been doing this year. We've been having a ton of fun and we are battling each other to see who can sink the other person's battleships. You guys know how this game is played at this point. If you don't, I will leave a playlist of this series down below so that you could catch up. But basically, we're trying to hit pan in our singles. It's been a quiet month. The waters have been very still in the ocean. Not a lot of movement going on on either end. Elizabeth said that she was going to be taking the rest of 2020 off from this project so she could focus on some other things. And I kind of didn't believe her. I thought, she's just playing me. She's just trying to get me calm and relaxed so she could go in for the kill. But she hasn't hit any new pans. I think she actually is taking the rest of this year off from this project. Unlike her, I'm not taking any time off from this project. I am trying to incorporate these shadows into my eye looks every single day. But of course, I do not have any new pans today either. So as of today, we stand at me having three pans, two of which are direct hits, and Elizabeth having six pans, three of which are direct hits. So it's still anyone's game, but I feel like Elizabeth is really inching out ahead of me. So let me show you the eyeshadows I've been working on and what the progress has been or lack of. One shadow that I hadn't really used much prior to this past month, but I've been using every single day now is this Milani eyeshadow in Bella Rose. This has become my new brow bone highlight and I use it every single day now as a brow bone highlight. Prior to this, I was working on the Moonstone eyeshadow from my Natasha Denona palette. And once I hit pan on that one, I have been using this one every day since. I don't think Elizabeth has a battleship on this shadow right here. I seriously doubt it, but I'm still glad that I'm using it. It makes a beautiful brow bone highlight. It looks more white than pink on me. And I've been wearing a lot of pink and purples anyway. So even if it's a little bit pink, it doesn't matter, but um, I find this to just kind of come across as like a typical highlight shade on my brow bone, not too pink. So I've been using this every day. Like I said, if I hit pan, that'll be great, but I don't think there's a battleship on top of this shadow. The next two, I do think there's a good chance of there being a battleship on top of, and I've been using them a ton. The first one is this NYX shadow in hot pink, and I don't know what kind of voodoo is going on with this eyeshadow, but it's not going anywhere. I use it every single day. Do you see that little itty bitty speck of a dip right there? That's all I got. I've been working on this shadow so much, not only over the past month, but this entire year. I keep coming back to the shadow over and over and over again, and that's it. It took way less for me to hit pan on the hot fuchsia shade that I have in the same project and already hit pan on, I hit pan on this in way less time. I keep using this over and over and over again. Today, like most days, I have it in my crease, I have it on my lower lash line. That's it, what the heck? I don't understand. I do feel like this formula does have a harder layer on the top and once you kind of get past that layer, it starts going faster. So hopefully, I will start making some more progress, but this has been mind-blowing. The other shadow I've been using almost every single day is Plum Dressing from MAC, and this was the one I kind of thought I might have pan on today, but I couldn't make it happen. Again, I have this on my eyes today in the outer, like, the outer half of my eyelid and smudged on my lower lash line, and this does have a really, really good dip. I'm very happy with the progress, but I wish I had pan and I don't. So hopefully by next month, this one will have pan. Other than those three, the only other shadow I've really been pulling for this past month was this one and it was only once or twice. This is Outrageous Metallic Taupe. It's just an awesome shade. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, I love it. And I might be doing a get ready with me using this look within the next couple weeks. So we'll see if I can pull that out. But I did use this a few times in the past month. Other than that, 
there's not much to say. I haven't had a whole lot of progress in this project as far as being able to play around with these shadows or as far as hitting pan. I've just kind of been doing the same look. I was panning a look in September. I was panning a look in October. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to finish off my baby pan that palette shadow. So I'm going to keep using these three shadows in my eye looks every day until that baby pan that palette shadow is gone and I don't plan to branch out too much until that happens because if you saw my pan that palette update you know that I'm ready to put the nail in the coffin with that baby pan that palette shadow so it's just going to be these guys day in and day out for a while until that happens It's a little shocking how slow things are going, but I am using them. I would feel worse if I was coming on here and saying I haven't used any of these shadows even once in the past month, but I have been. I've been using them a ton, so I'm happy that I'm using them. I'm just a little surprised I don't have more progress to show for it. All right, guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see other people doing this project, you can look for the hashtag Dude You Pan My Battleship on Instagram. There are a ton of people doing this project. So check them out over on Instagram and send them some love. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do hope you consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.